Hi everybody and welcome back to my backyard once again. Today we're gonna check out a very inexpensive but feature rich radio, the BDF PV Lite Radio 4. And actually I have been using it since April and all of my reviews with a 2.4 GHz Espresso LRS drone have been made with this radio. So I have a lot of experience on it. The packaging is really nice, it comes very well protected and it even has some gimbal covers, which at this price it's a very nice find. Usually companies, even on more expensive product, don't put this amount of attention to detail. At the bottom you find a USB-C 2A cable and a very extensive manual on how to use the radio. The radio is quite small and compact, but still it feels very ergonomic. If you're used to a video game joypad or even the DJI controller, this thing feels very much at home. The build quality is fine for the price, the plastic is strong and at the back you have these two rubberized places to hold it with your hands. If you squeeze it with your hand it will make a couple of creaky noises, maybe it will twist a little bit this way but it will not break, it's pretty strong. To break it you really have to throw it at a wall. At the front of the radio you have the two gimbals, they feel very nice and smooth. They have upgraded them, upgraded the sensor and I find them quite nice, very much like the DJI radio. The gimbals themselves are made of plastic, the tip are made of metal. Removing these back parts there is no setting to adjust. Lanyard hook, power button, press, keep pressing and it turns on. And these two five position switches are the updates of this generation of light radio. They are trims. So if uh, your quad plane or whatever is drifting, you can quickly fix the drifting using these buttons. If you keep pressing them, they reset. At the bottom you have the bind button to bind to your drone, setup button to calibrate your sticks if you find they have drifts. And at the center you have a USB-C port which is used for three things. You can fast charge it up to 15 watts, it will take around 40 minutes to fully charge it. You can connect this to a simulator using the USB cable and also you can upgrade the firmware on the internal Express LRS transmitter. At the top they added two new switches, now it's a 10 channels radio. You have two momentary dorsal switches these two are two positions and the ones in the middle are three positions. And here you will find the antenna. At the back of the radio there is nothing, there is no expansion port right here, but you have an integrated Espresso RS 2.4 GHz transmitter which goes up to 100 milliwatts, which is fine for normal use, for close range flying, but if you want to go further than let's say one kilometer, probably you will need to upgrade the radio to really change it and get something more powerful. The battery is 2000 milliamps and it will last around 8 hours of use, which is pretty nice. If you press the bind button while you turn on the radio, you can see the light becomes purple. Because this radio has a Bluetooth transmitter inside, so you can connect to your computer, to your phone and use the simulator wirelessly. This is very very nice because being an entry-level radio you will have to practice simulator a lot and it's much nicer not having cables dangling around. Let's try flying this radio live so I can tell you how it feels. I mean I have been using this quite consistently since April and I have to say I like this radio, it feels uh, very close to the DJI radio I always use and that's why I use it because it's the same movements it's the same muscle memory. If you are not used uh, to, uh, I mean, this is a radio for beginners, so probably it will be your uh, first radio. If you fly whoops with it and you come from the DJI radio, you will feel uh, totally at home, like uh, is uh, same form factor, same weight, same feeling. The gimbals are uh, totally adequate and uh, similar again to the, to the DJI ones. The switches are quite tactile, they are big, you can uh, totally feel uh, where they are at. Of course it's an uh, entry level radio so you don't have a screen, you cannot change many settings on it. You can just... Ooh, that was a bad crash. You can just update the Express LRS transmitter via the USB-C at the bottom and use it as a simulator which will, which will be very nice at the first stages of learning FPV. They have done many revisions of these uh, cheaper style radios so they know what they are doing. 
And I believe they also have pro versions with uh, Edge TX and a screen and a module bay on the back. If you are concerned about future proofing your radio, that maybe is a better decision for a little extra money. And it's time for my final opinion on this Beta FPV Light Radio 4. I like the convenience of it. I have other radios with bigger, more powerful modules at the back, but this one I just turn it on and it's ready to go. The battery lasts forever and it's just pretty simple. The other ones I have to wait for the module at the back to turn on, to connect, the battery discharges quickly. I don't know, this one I feel like it does a pretty decent job for the money especially. So I promote it. It's nice for the money, but I will tell you that if you buy this, when you want to progress in the hobby, probably you will need a more powerful radio if you want to go longer range, especially. They make usually another version of this, which is like a pro version that has maybe a little screen at the top, a module bay at the back, and that is a little bit more future proof because you can upgrade it, you can change settings, you can use more models. For example, now I started using helicopters because I want to learn them. You cannot fly helicopters with this radio. So it has its limits, but if you use it for close range flying, for tiny whoops, it's pretty convenient and it's fine at the price. And that's all for today. As always, remember to like, subscribe, and comment on this video. Let me know what you think about this radio. Let me know if starter radios make sense or is better to spend more at the beginning, but be settled for life. If you wanna buy something, check out the links in the description below because clicking on them, you help my channel a lot. And many times you also get discounts. As always, thank you so much. Stay safe and happy flying. Bye.